Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about thriller book twists that shocked me the most. Now, before I get into this week's video, I want to let you guys know that in the future, I might do like a Q&A questions and answers video. So if any of you guys have any questions about me, go on to the community tab and uh, post your questions there because I already posted something about make a Q&A in the future. I might, it just depends on how everything goes. So if you guys still have any questions for me, post them in the community tab. So anyway, let's get on to the video. The first book, thriller book that shocked me the most is Verity. And the plot twist was that Verity was actually insane the whole time. That she would just attempt to murder two of her, I think two of her twins she had two girls and one boy, and she killed both of them. She um, she killed her first girl by giving her, like, an allergic reaction to peanuts, like, during a sleepover. And then she died of anaphylactic shock. And then her other girl, she uh, tipped a canoe over while her son was there, too. And um, she saved her son, but not her daughter. And her daughter drowned. But, like... And then all of a sudden, she drives her car and then attempts to paralyze herself, which it, did, it didn't work. And then all of a sudden, she just fakes being paralyzed and shit like that. And then she writes a letter talking about, oh, I'm not crazy. I'm actually doing this for like a future part of actually being crazy. So I'm not crazy. I'm just playing a part. You are crazy, lady. Like, if you, if a person says that they're not crazy, they probably are. They're, they probably are. You just, you just don't know yet. And it's just, it's just so weird Verity thinks she's trying to justify all of this. Killing both of her girls just for that stupid little letter. And honestly, does she deserve to die? Maybe, I guess. So that was the shocking plot twist. Verity being actually insane the whole time. And being the sole responsible person for killing both of her girls. So anyway, on to the next one. The second thriller plot twist that shocked me the most. In Never Lie, Trisha was one of Dr. Hale's patients. And that not, um, not just that... Oh, by the way, if you see me looking down, I'm looking at notes, by the way. So, and not only just her patient, but she killed um, her own, she's the one who killed her own fiance because her best friend was sleeping with her fiance. So she got pissed and killed her own best friend and possibly her own fiance too. And she tried to cover it up by, bl by blaming a random person tr um, trying to kill her best friend and her fiance and bullshit like that. But in, in actuality, it was actually her. And um, Dr. Hale figured out all the pieces. And it turns out Dr. Hale knew that Trisha was lying. But not th this is, that's not all. There's more. And it turns out Trisha also killed Dr. Hale. Because Dr. Hale kidnapped one of her patients. Because one of her patients was blackmailing her and trying to ruin her career. And... She tried to get Trisha into all of this stuff about, you know, Dr. Hale trying to, you know, it's just a confusing mess. And then Trisha doesn't want to be a whole part of this whole murder spree. So she ends up murdering her own psychiatrist. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a big loop-de-doo of plot twists in this book, but it's a fast read for me and it's really good. So anyway, on to the next one. The next thriller plot twist, in The Silent Patient, it turns out Alyssa's psychiatrist Theo was the was actually the one who broke into her house, and um it all and then it also turns out that Alyssa's boyfriend Gabriel was the one who slept with Theo's girlfriend Kathy. And when I was thinking of when I was reading this whole book, I was thinking, huh? So it turns out Alyssa had a boyfriend named Gabriel, but then Gabriel slept with Theo's girlfriend, Kathy. So it turns out Gabriel cheated on his girlfriend 
And then Theo's girlfriend cheated on Theo. And I'm thinking, shit, Alyssa and Theo are both victims of cheating. And then Theo just broke in and tried to cause all this fiasco. And then Gabriel wants to like, you know, he he said that he doesn't love he doesn't actually love Alyssa and that actually broke Alyssa and then that's what caused Alyssa to kill Gabriel and then for her to go silent this whole damn time and I'm thinking wow so Theo's the one responsible the psychiatrist is the one responsible for for you know this whole mess like and I I was trying to predict of other characters who could have made Alyssa go silent and who could have done all this fiasco shit. And I didn't expect it to be the psychiatrist. No, I who would expect that? Not me. I was trying to theorize this whole time. My, I was tr making notes about this shit because this, this book may, is... This book made me theorize a lot of shit. This book has made me theorize a lot more than any other thriller books that I've ever read. So, And then they got to the point where Theo's the one who did it. And I'm like, what the fuck? So, if you ever want to read a good thriller book, pick up The Silent Patient, please. The Silent Patient, please. Go pick it up. Anyway, on to the last book. And the last thriller book that shocked me, and then she was gone, Ellie, the little girl who's like 13 or 14, she's actually the biological mother of Poppy, which I guess, because in the book it says that Poppy looks just like Ellie. So when the plot twist of Ellie actually being the biological mother of Poppy, I was like, huh, I guess that does make a lot of sense. But wait. It turns out the reason why this whole stuff happened is because her tutor, Noel, Ellie's tutor, Noel, kidnapped Ellie, put her in the basement, and um, Noel ended up getting a bunch of, like, um, end up getting, like, a sperm donor and then putting it into Ellie, and uh, Ellie had the baby. And then, but before all of that... Ellie would get, um, not Ellie, excuse me. Noelle would give, um, Ellie a bunch of hamsters as, like, pets. And then if Ellie, like, didn't name any of the hamsters, Noelle would get fucking, she'll be get, she'll get pissed and say, if you don't name any of those hamsters, I'm gonna flush them down the toilet. And I'm thinking, damn, what is wrong with you, lady? This is the most psycho lady ever. But it turns out... Noelle had like a like a boyfriend or something. As soon as the guy figured out no, that Noelle was the one responsible, he uh, they got into a fight and it caused you know Noelle to fall and actually crack her head or her neck or something, and then she died from that. So uh, did she deserve to die? Possibly. I mean, she kidnapped a 13, 14 year old girl and impregnated her with a random sperm donor, and then not only that. As soon as she got bored of Ellie, she just trapped her in the basement for months. She just, Ellie just starved to death. And and um, she starved to death. She was hungry, she was thirsty, and uh, it was the most painful way to go, being locked in a basement with nothing to eat or drink. I feel bad for her, though. But at least her granddaughter will get peace. Her granddaughter will live a nice life um, with her grandma and stuff like that. So, anyway... Those are all of the thriller books I had for you guys. I'm not much of a thriller a thriller book reader because thriller is not technically my favorite genre of books, but it's it's good though. Unless I found like some good thriller books like Frida McFadden or something like that, then I'll totally read it. It's just romance is mostly my favorite genre. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. All that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.